Today I want to show you a new wiring connection that I found that's quicker, easier, safer, and possibly more reliable as well. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how you can get a free sample to check one out for yourself. Hey guys, John here with Backyard Maine. As many of you know, backstab wiring connections, also known as speed wiring or quick connects, have been very controversial over the years. Most electricians, including myself, will advise against using them. But the manufacturers continue to offer them as a quick and easy method for DIYers to make electrical connections. I recommend using the side terminal connections as a much more reliable method for connecting wires. Although some manufacturers have made improvements to the connection over the years, they're still only offered in residential grade 15 amp devices. But I, like many other professional electricians, have stuck with the old tried and true side wiring connections with J hooks or with the back wiring connections on commercial grade devices. Well, last month, Hubble, a well-known name in the electrical industry, sent me some brand new devices to check out. Their new design is called the Hubble Edge Connect, and you guessed it, they use a stab-in, screwless connection design. I was pretty skeptical at first, but after further investigation, I was actually quite impressed. These may look like backstabs, but that's where the similarities end. Backstab connections are limited to residential grade, 15 amp devices using 14 gauge solid copper wire only. But the new Edge Connect starts out at commercial grade and offers a full range of devices from 15 to 30 amps and 120 up to 480 volts. They also accept 14, 12, and 10 gauge solid or stranded copper wire, a much more robust system. I really like commercial grade devices for residential applications because the build quality is just so much better and they'll last a whole lot longer. You know the old saying, buy once, cry once? I think that really applies here. I could open a backstab receptacle to show you how the connection actually works and to compare it to the new Edge Connect. The wire is just pushed into the connection and wedged between these two conductive surfaces. You may notice that the connection area holding the wire against the flat surface is quite small and the only force is provided by the bending up of the tab. Over time, temperature variation and vibration can cause the connections to become loose, get hot, and eventually fail. The Edge Connect uses spring terminals inside the device to securely terminate the wires in place. With the constant mechanical force provided by the internal springs, Temperature variation and vibration will have no negative effect on the termination. The spring tension will always be there to maintain a tight connection. These are going to work very well on stranded wire as well because as the strands relax over time, the grip will just get tighter. I spent most of my career in large industry as an industrial electrician and eventually an electrical engineer. And knowing that strands relax over time, when we tighten connections, we would always torque the connection to spec, then we'd wiggle the wires around, and then we'd torque them to spec again. This would minimize any loosening of the mechanical connection over time. The spring connections on the Edge Connect are kind of a constant retorque feature. Let me show you how they work. You'll notice that there are no screw terminals making these safer to install, but also minimizing the possibility of faults in the box after installation. They also have these convenient color-coded plungers which when released secure the wire. Two blacks for the hots, two whites for the neutrals, and the green for the ground wire. To make the connection, we'll strip about a half of an inch of insulation off of our wire, insert it into the hole, push the plunger to the side, and it snaps in place. No screwdriver or torquing needed. In a minute, we'll hook some weight to the wire and find out just how strong these terminations actually are. The connections can also be disconnected and used again, unlike the backstabs, which are one use only. To remove the wires, we just insert a small screwdriver into the hole in the plunger and use the lever action to pull the connection open. Now, these are very fast to install compared to the screw terminals, about 12 seconds compared to one minute on my side-by-side -side test. Now, if you're wondering if these receptacles can still be split, the answer is yes. We just need to remove this little bridge, much like on a standard receptacle. The Edge Connect technology is offered in a full range of devices in multiple colors and styles, 
and they'll soon be offering GFCI and USB devices as well. I wired my home when it was built back in 1998, and I think it's time for some new devices, you know, just for a fresher look. And I'll be using these Edge Connect devices for that project, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that video in the future. Oh, and you can do that with your finger. You don't need a screwdriver for that either. Okay, let's hook some weight to this device and see how the connection holds up. This 25 pound plate should be a good test. Do you think it'll hold? No problem at all. Now, I really like this new design, and because it's from Hubble, you know that they're gonna last. But hey, don't take my word for it. I'll leave a link to a free sample down in the description, but also in a pinned comment, so you can pick one up for yourself. Hey, if you wanna learn more about safe and reliable electrical practices, click into one of these videos next. I'm John from Backyard, Maine. Thanks for watching.